you are probably already seeing uh, David uh, Avid Ochiang, our yeah. beautiful fashion designer from yeah. Kenya. Our, uh, yeah. it sounds he's, like a, he's our wonderful like he, guest. He's our wonderful guest. Yeah, it sounds like he works for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me. <laughs> and now you will be able to see him on Instagram as well in few few minutes. Few minutes. <laughs> it's not even minutes. Oh yeah, minutes. Minutes. Minutes on Instagram. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello everyone. And we are. We are live. <laughs> oh my God. We're super happy, and we are yeah. super in, in in the mood. We're super oh in the mood with God. our. It is the mood. The yes, mood sir. That we yes, love. sir. <laughs> ah, how are you doing today? I'm very well. Very Fantastic. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome everyone on Between Two Planets show with Marco Our, and Erika. You say everything basically. Uh, <laughs> yes, I don't know, have a word them. anymore. Can, can I finish? Yeah, of course. You know, you're not, not even. No, Erika is going to do everything. He's going to talk. Sometimes we say it together, uh, sometimes we say yes, it like we yeah. share. Yeah, we do. So, uh, welcome back on the show. If you're already familiar with us, welcome back. If you're not familiar, what is it that we do? What you do we do? You can say it since I said the first No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I can see today you're very chatty. Yes, here you go. What do we, we do? We engage with wonderful humans all over all the world, world doing yeah. amazing things. And we yeah. chat to them. And we they laugh are amazing. with them. Yes. And, uh, we spread happiness. We love with them. And uh, um, we don't have a band under the quarantine. As you know, but and uh, we're not singers, okay? So don't uh, don't bother to comment. Oh, you're not singer, you're not, okay? We're not singers. This is a, this is a disclaimer. But we have to welcome our guests. We have to, yes. We have properly, to. properly. You make it sound like it's an obligation. Now. Of course, I. I <laughs> of course, it's not yeah. An obligation. You don't want to. No, I want. Oh, you want That's to. Right. For me, it's a must. Yeah. I want to welcome my guests <laughs> with beautiful songs. By the law, by the law, we are obliged. Singing, singing. Yes. We have to put them in a good mood. <laughs> so, um, ah, you're a good soldier. Choosing your battles. Pick up yourself, dust yourself off under the saddle. Back in the saddle. You are in the front line. And everyone's watching. You know it's serious. We are getting closer. This isn't over. The pressure's on. You feel it. But you got it all. Believe it. When you fuck it up, oh oh. And you fuck it up, oh oh. Zamina, mina, zangalewa. Cause this is Africa. Woo! Let's welcome our, Let's welcome yeah, yeah. our beautiful guest live from Kenya. Is David Avido oh, nice. Ochiang from Looks Like Avido. <laughs> He's a beautiful so fashion much, designer. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, we should have mentioned at the beginning uh, what we were going to do. Yes. Uh, which we yes. Didn't. yes. <laughs> hey, dear. Hey, how are you? We are hello, fantastic. Hello, David. How are you? Hey. Welcome. welcome. You are beautiful. Thank you so are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me here. Oh, I'm thank so you so much be for being with us. I <laughs> love... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. I love your style and your... I love your outfit your and your outfit. hair. <laughs> thank you so much. I can cut pieces of my hair and then send it to you and see some of the jacket and bring them to you too. <laughs> oh, my, oh, that would be beautiful. Yeah. It <laughs> would be so fantastic, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is it today you are at the moment? Uh, I'm in Nairobi, in Kibra, Kenya. I live in Kibra. I was born and bred in Kibra slum. So Kibra is like nice. one of the largest, it's oh, the largest, yeah. largest slum in Africa. Yes, yeah. yes. We were at your story, and it's we very, very much inspiring. Uh, yeah. How did you? Because uh, I think we have an imagination of Kenya with all uh, yeah. all the animals uh, as well. Like you've and got wildlife, beautiful the nature. Wildlife. And, uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. I get you, I get you. So, uh, I mean, me, I was like born like in a humble family. I was, okay. I was raised as a single mom, like, and then uh, until high school in Form 1, I dropped out of school in Form 1, and then from there, I was a dancer yeah. before. A dancer? I did, yeah, I was a dancer. I did. Can we see one mover? Can we see a mover? Like, uh... yeah, so I mean, like, so, so, like so I could move, you know, and then. Yeah. I used to dance. Oh, the way, I can see that. Then, <laughs> I, can, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So um, then uh, from high school, I dropped out of high school in Form 1. And then after Form 1, then I started working with construction sites. And then after that time, 
that is when the situation was really hard for me and then um, I was the first born in the family and uh, my family had like you know I have like two brothers and one sister so I wanted okay. to make, you know like an example to them and then because over here like you know when you are a first born in a family you have to take care of the family you are like the guardian of them so of course of course, of course yeah of course, of course. Yeah. Did you uh, w did, did you learn something uh, in uh, in the sense of managing uh, a family while growing up and uh, and having to no. take care of your no 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 just like everything everything that I know about fashion and myself all of them are just like most of them oh are yeah oh, okay in the streets yeah in the streets and you know exchanging words from people and getting to know how people live and understanding life and meditating a lot about life and doing it okay. Myself. When did when did you start to to, like to design to, to? So right now I have like three years in the fashion business. Three years. Wow! wow. And uh, where did you? Where, how did you start? What, what what was the feeling? Like were you one day like uh, uh, one day you saw a guy in a very bad blazer, in a very bad jacket? You said, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna change this city. I'm gonna dress you. <laughs> I'm gonna no, dress I mean. this way. <laughs> What really happened was like a game of survival because I'd already like tried every job. I was a school dropout. I could not be able like to afford to go to any school. So it was like a totally big challenge for me because I wanted like to be able to provide for my family. But I couldn't nice. because I never had a job. So uh, when we were dancing, that is when like I learned the skill of sewing. So the, the, during this time when we were dancing, we used to go to competitions and then the judges would be like, we want costume from your guys. If you go to dance in different occasions, they want like to see us in costumes. And then all of the course. costumes that other 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 dancers were wearing were both from Tuskies, Nakuman, so all of them kind of looked the same. So in in some ways, we wanted to be different from them. So that's when I started like making our own sketches in order for us to be like you know different. Yeah, and uh, some of our sketches. Uh, your uh, the the volume uh, it's a bit low. The no. audience is saying they can't hear Maybe, you. Maybe I don't know if you can uh, yeah. if there is a way to, to turn it, up. it. Yeah, turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, it's yeah. still a bit low, but it's fine. I mean, if it's we can't uh, do it any better, it's fine. Um, um, did you do you ever put some of your dancing experience inside your clothes, inside your designs, as an inspiration for the patterns? Yes. For... Yeah. Oh. So, like, all of my clothes are like inspired because I normally just don't make clothes for the sake of making. I normally try to tell a story from the cloth because at the end of the day, when I started like making clothes. It was to show people that also good things can come from the slums because when you are from the slum and then you go somewhere, tell people that hey, yeah, I'm yeah, from this ghetto, then they don't want to associate with you because to them they believe that the people in ghetto, all of them that normally just use drugs, most of them are in yes, uh, of course, of course, uh, so, and applause to this, uh, and applause to, to the way because because you're smart, uh, no, no, really, and you you got out uh, from from a situation. Uh, and, yeah. And uh, the, you you built an empire basically. And you're, you are bringing out the beauty yeah. of Kibra. And, and, and yeah. I, I guess there is a lot yeah. around. And, uh, Erica, you need to prove with me, otherwise yeah. it's just me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. We don't have an audience here. I mean, and not here with us. No audience here in this quarantine. Erica, those are yeah. the basics of this program. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know, but I was uh, yeah. finishing the phrase. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, so, like the main thing that I wanted to tell people out there, because like you know good things and beautiful really pretty things can really come to, from places that are least expected you know so you just yes, have like, to watch and see and just give people opportunity because not everybody get opportunities not only in of africa course. but also like in other countries around the world yeah. we have people that are really talented they really want to do good they really want to like, inspire people inspire people but then again they don't get the opportunities that other people true, true, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, and then art is all about like inspiring. That's absolutely, yeah. yeah. And uh, in the, I've seen uh, some of your because uh, you do many things uh, you do the masks uh, for the quarantine, uh, you do clothes, yeah. uh, uh, backpacks, yes. uh, and uh, yeah. funny bags, right? How do you call yeah. it? The, the, the one? So I normally call them funny packs. I, mean, I, I normally call them fa funny packs, but normally I normally make like all, all types of clothing. How do you call it? How do you call it? Funny packs. Oh, funny packs. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a nice word. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm a mask, simple man. Mask, yeah. And the, the yeah, I'm going to ask. Yeah. The mask we've been making and distributing them for free to everybody. 
around us and the people that are people that's that amazing are people. that's and amazing and applause to this uh, and, uh, uh, because uh, i mean uh, we we went yesterday into a grocery shop uh, yeah and uh, the, the masks are not for free and he said it should be something for free for the people yeah. especially for to protect yeah. the community and what you are doing yeah, is yeah. just incredible yeah. it's, it's amazing and applause to this yeah amazing. Yeah. You are finding the time to, to sue so yeah. many actually because uh, the time I, I know and the you money. have uh, the and time the well, and the yeah. money and everything yeah. and because you have been suing like more than two thousand months. Is it is this correct? Yeah. Right now you are... right now right now we've distributed sealed, made and distributed like twelve thousand masks. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand masks. Lot. All of oh, them for yeah. free. Oh my all gosh. Of them totally for free. Yeah. Do you do you sue all your masks by yourself? So I have like a team that I work with. So okay. I have like um, okay. uh, my dance men, like uh, some of my uh, uh, my friends that I work with, and then we also. Oh, have, uh, other, dancers. other dancers. Other dan no, no, ex dancers. Only one of them is a dancer, but not all of them. Are, not all of them can move. You know, they only listen to music. Like, Okay, okay. Do you ever dance? Do you ever dance while uh, suing? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, but I normally try as much as, as I can to be careful because, you know, we don't like the needle game so much on our body. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand the feeling. I love it. Uh, and I, I dance uh, when I do editing. America doesn't like it. Uh, and she goes like, oh, stop it. No, that's not You are ridiculous. No, that's not true. Uh, so I have to stop. I and, love uh, yeah. seeing me dancing. No, that's not and true. I start I crying too. instead. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Erica can be very... Uh, <laughs> no, no. But, uh, uh, David, how many tailors uh, are you in the company? Then? So, I work with... Are Tyler, you in the company? In the company. How, how many how are you, you in the company? No, how many tailors? Yeah, because I guess, because I can see so, you sue as well, right? Yeah. With all, your, well. with all your team, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I have like, um, right now, I have like 12 guys that I'm working with. I have like seven okay. women and five guys. But aside from them, I have other guys that when I have like lots of work and I, I'm able to reach out to them because my main dream as a fashion designer is just like, not just to make clothes at the end of the day, but our main goal is like to be able like to create and open more job opportunities for the people. Yes, sir. Because growing yes. Much, our parents were struggling so much to get jobs, you know, and that's why we were never able to finish schools because they could not be able to afford to pay our school fees. So if I'm able right now to create job opportunities for so many people as much as possible, then I do that. So the seven women I'm talking about, the seven women, I train them on how to sew. And then I also trained another guy, one guy, and then the other guys, they knew how to sew by the time we were starting. That is, a, it's an amazing, amazing project. What you, what you say is so, so inspiring for the rest of the world. And, and plus, the other day, the other day I was learning that NASA spends millions, billions, exactly. billions of pounds just to launch a a rocket uh, which is really not needed because it's not needed I mean, uh, is, uh, uh, there is so yeah, much exactly, to do on yeah. this earth to, to make good, good. And, uh, so, what you are doing uh, is great. worth it's really, it's, yeah. uh, more than those billions that are spent to, to launch yeah, yes, uh, yeah. the NASA thank you so much we are just here rockets, to, yeah. to make the world a better place as much as possible you know yeah, yeah. and i loved uh, i loved all the colors uh, all the colors uh, that you put uh, in in that and that this is exactly my style. I love it. Do you get uh, any any inspiration from uh, from animals from the land? Because I know that the, 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 the terrain is red in Africa, right? Yeah. yeah. The soil. So me, like, uh, the soil. This, so me, what, what I'll say like about my inspiration? I get my inspiration from the slum mainly because I try like okay. to talk more about the slum and show more about how people are really hard working back here. And see, yeah. also show how people are really talented back here, but they don't get the opportunity. So I'm more inspired with what happens back here, and also with the colors of the street, like chocolate, because most of our roofs are chocolate in color, and then the activities that happen in between, you know, the colors that you know, if, like when you walk inside the street, it's like a rainbow because everybody have their own colors, and people are not afraid to wear colors back here. So everybody's just like color clashing with whatever they want, and uh, so yeah. me, I take those ideas and put them down and try to find ways. How I can be able to speak about how, like, if you are working, like, if you are doing like a job, like you are, you deal like maybe in, uh, in recycling stuff in the street, or like the plastics, or maybe you deal with, like maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 
with uh, construction site. So I find ways of how I can be able to blend your job into my activity and speak a story about what you're doing in life. And that's what normally inspires me to make the project I mean, because as course, yeah. people speak about people's, people's story and teach them and elevate them from this point to that point, you know, makes me understand art more because at the end of the day, art is just like, it's, it's just there for us to share knowledge and understand more about it and open people's yes. eyes and yes. how they're supposed to benefit from it and how they're supposed to benefit their lives. You know? Is, because he, uh, yeah. sorry, sorry. is there is there something from from the from from there you know from the Kibra Kibra from Kibra yes Kibra, I couldn't remember the name yeah yeah Kibra it's, the, the what name does it mean means forest. it means forest forest oh, okay. okay it was like a, it was like a, it is like a certain language the Nubians it was like uh, the the land was given to Nubians uh, during like the colonial time with our first president. And then I uh, found it myself here. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the volume is very low. Very, very, very so we are struggling within we understanding. We are struggling yeah. with a, picking up, all, picking all up the words. some words yeah, sorry, here and sorry. there. Uh, I do have another. Um, so, the, yeah, you grew up in Zebra. Not in Zebra. In, in, Kibra. Uh, in Kibra. Kibra, yeah, sorry. Zebra is an animal. <laughs> I Marco know that, uh, always gets names wrong. You have to know that. You have to know that. I learned uh, how to pronounce her name uh, yes, properly, <laughs> properly after eight years. So, yes. oh, so wow. it's Kibra. Kibra. Kibra, yeah, Kibra. <laughs> Which is also yeah, beautiful. Kibra. But it sounds name, like a zebra. Uh, sounds, yeah. It has yeah. the same sound then, right? <laughs> No, I think zebra is the one that sounds like Kibra. But Kibra sounds as Kibra. <laughs> Hey, exactly. Yeah. It sounds like it. Yeah. What's uh, what's yeah. unique? Uh, what's unique about yeah. Kibra? Would you suggest us to go yeah. and visit? Yeah, of course. I'll suggest you people to come and visit here because uh, what is totally different from here is like you know, people are so unique. Like they are so loving, they are so hardworking. People like nice. You know, everybody. We love that. Everybody knows each other. People like share words. They don't pass each other on the road. If I have a problem, I have to reach out to you. If you have a problem, you try and reach out to you. If my neighbor doesn't have a salt, I can open my door and go to my neighbor and tell my neighbor, hey, today I don't have enough salt, can you share? Then we get to share, you know. That's people beautiful. here are like, people like, people are like so loving. I mean, and people amazing. Are so this amazing. is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, uh, once this whole pandemic will be over, I, I really, really hope to come and uh, hug you and yeah. meet you in person yeah, and meet too. all the community <laughs> of Cape Plus, uh, plus uh, we are Italians, uh, so. Mm -hmm. uh, we no, we normally kiss and embrace everyone. A lot, yeah. <laughs> even uh, yeah. even staff, uh, crew, and uh, yeah. animals. If any, we yeah. We. Everyone, each and everyone. And I know the Kibra yeah. is is a huge area. Is it correct? It's one of the yeah. biggest one in uh, uh, yeah. Africa. Is it correct? The biggest, the biggest slum in Africa. And in Kibra, we we have people. We have like more than five hundred thousand people living in Kibra. Five hundred thousand. Wow. So half a million. Yeah. So wow, enough in, in a city, that's a lot, yeah. yeah. That's a lot, that's a yeah. lot. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what is your, uh, the, is your, your mother is uh, super proud of you, of course, right? Yeah, yeah she is. <laughs> <laughs> I never ask her, I normally, I normally just do my work and then, you know, uh, because at the end of the day, my mom is the one that taught me how to do most of stuff in life, like, because I used to see her self That's very like, nice. You know, raising spaces she... for me and stuff like that. So uh, I've learned a lot from her. And nowadays, um, she's just in her place. I taught her how to sew also, because she also she wanted to know, to know how to sew. So I taught her how to sew. Right now, she knows. She normally just like that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Have you taught your uh, your brothers and sisters as well to sew? Uh, to sew? My, my brother, my brother that follows me on the back, uh, took took my dream, and now he's studying that in uh, in university. But he knows how to sew better than I do. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, you, you could have kept them uh, in, in the dark, you know, like in the shadow. Like, <laughs> no, you don't need to learn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tried, I tried, but she learned behind my back. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and uh, yeah. um, is your mother protective or is she, does she push you to, to, to get, I don't know, a partner? Well, what's the situation yeah. at the moment? Are you dating or are you on the market? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, right now I'm just like trying to chase my dreams as much as I can be able to do that because I believe like me being able to achieve my goals and dreams, I'm also allowing other people by, you know, around me to be able to achieve their goals and dreams. 
so about dating and stuff yes yes i will say like yes i'll say i'm in a relationship like you know protect myself also and then because you know, i need to okay that, that's good yeah so you're focused on the job <laughs> Also, you and just uh, uh, and I to focus on your dream yes, and go straight to it. I mean, you shouldn't upload uh, because you should be happy with me, right? I'm, I'm you sure? I'm happy. I'm happy. Are you having second thoughts? No. You sure? Okay. <laughs> but uh, also, you received a, a presidential honorary award from from the president of Kenya for the project that you are doing with Masks for All, right? You've been featured I'll, on Vogue as well. And featured on Vogue as well. So I. How did you feel when receiving this honorary award from the president of your country, of your Republic of Kenya? Actually? What did you say? Did you say, nah, that's nothing. <laughs> I was even tired. What did you, what did you say? <laughs> no, I mean, when I, when I received the award, I mean, the first thing I was just like so happy because uh, I was happy because the guys that work with me, like they motivate me to be who I am and then they also like inspire me and they are ready to work with every idea that, you know, always like runs down. So. I was super happy of that and then it also like showed me like you know teamwork can be able to make you like earn championship rather than just a win because if you're just working as an individual yes you will win one thing but when you're yeah. working as a team you will win championship you know and my win is their win and their win is my win at the end of the day we're just here to make the world a better place Nice, nice, That's and amazing. I post to that. Making a world a better place, it's a, starting from your community, and then take it as a yeah. whole. That's beautiful. Is there any suggestion, uh, suggestion that you would give to someone that is starting now to become a fashion designer? And uh, yeah, any 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 person out there that is trying to start his fashion brand, the best thing that I will tell the guys, like you know, just take time because you know, good things take time, and better things great things takes you know more time you know so they just like have to you know, give it more time and work work and work everything will come up don't rush take your time nice so the moment nice. Was, well, we're just like learning one that's nice and opposed to that so to pursue to pursue the goal and keep it on the right being yeah. patient as well and resilient yeah. yeah. and uh, yeah. that's amazing you're not patient uh, what, am, what do you I suggest am, <laughs> i have loads of patience <laughs> no uh, no you don't <laughs> and uh, to I'm everyone sure. there to everyone there watching mm -hmm. she's not patient no yeah. i'm very patient <laughs> <laughs> i would do i mean i am patient <laughs> fair enough that's a good point yeah um, uh, so, um, so how is the, uh, how have you been living the quarantine during this, oh, yeah. uh, during this time in Kenya? Yeah. yeah. How well, are you I mean, coping uh, with well, it? Yeah. Me, I mean, just like trying to keep safe as much as I can, and also to be able like to protect people around me and educate yeah. educate them more about the COVID situation and how they're supposed to handle them themselves. Because I live like where I live in Kibwa, like people do like odd jobs, like you know, cost working in construction site. And the kind of job okay. they do, they get to earn like 300 shillings. 300 shillings is like, it's like uh, three US dollars or four US dollars at the end of the day. And right now, those people are not going to job because the government told them they need to work from home. And they cannot oh, work from I home. See. They really cannot do that. Oh. They, they, they can't even use work with computer because they don't even own computer. Neither do they even know how to work with computer. So when the government tells them to work at home, that means there is no job for them now. So they're just like, you know, stay around and try to find food by begging from people to people and also, you know, trying to find ways how they can go to feed them to their families by depending on their relatives that maybe are not around together. So it's kind of a tough situation, but we're just trying as much as we can to be able to help as much as we can be able to help other people around us. So even though right. I mean, why I say like, yes, yeah, yeah. Mask, it's because this kind of person, like you'll expect them to buy a sanitizer. Sanitizer is like maybe five US dollars, and a mask is like two, uh, two US dollars. So, in total, that is like seven US dollars. And that person, he earns or she earns like three US dollars in a day. Do you expect this guy to buy food for their family or to buy, like, you know, no. of course, course, of course, yeah, of course, yes, because, yes, yes. Because at the, at, the, at the end of the day, they've been able to experience hunger more than COVID because they've never seen any of their people dying, but they've only been hearing on the news that COVID is there, COVID is there, prepare, this old, watch out, wear a mask. But they've seen people dying from hunger. They've seen their relatives dying from hunger just by not eating. 
So they like most people, they really don't care. They just want to get that food and you know eat and support their family and make sure they are able to live. So me making the mask and being able to be there for them at a time like this, I'm really happy because it, like they should. They are the people that showed me the way. So if I'm able to be there when they need me the most, I mean, I yes, feel yeah, happy. I really feel good to do this. You know, it gives me happiness, and joy, it satisfies my soul. You know? In in the sound, uh, it sounds like there is a. Uh, a helicopter, basically. No, yeah, not a yeah, helicopter. It's like a, a motorbike. We are struggling to hear. Yeah. You <laughs> should. Like a, it's like a water machine. Oh, it's a. Oh, so it's uh, that was a real. Uh, it was a real motor, right? <laughs> I thought it was the connection. <laughs> yeah. So that's why you feel like, like with like a helicopter. <laughs> so what? Oh, so you okay? So you have a water machine. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Okay, okay. And does it need, is it like a pump uh, to pump the water yeah. somewhere else? No, 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 I can show you through, uh, through, through Instagram. Yes, please, yeah. So this one here, it's like just like for water, drinking water. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why you can hear like a chalk pump. Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> that was the noise, yeah. <laughs> I was hearing someone doing a man, man, <laughs> or something. It was very good. Uh, I think I think the sound was coming inside you. That's why you could feel that. Exactly. We were struggling to pick up the words. And now I can hear you. Doing. Now I can hear you better as well. You know, like I don't feel uh, shouting. Uh, you know, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not shouting at all. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. But, uh, yeah, keep it, better, keep it, yeah, which yes, is way yes, better. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, so it's, it's really, really amazing what you're doing. I think you are a hero in your community and you are doing a lot, a lot, really a lot. And uh, What are your, your plans, uh, your plans for, for the future? The future is just to be able to create more job opportunities for the people back here at my home. And also just yep. to live life, you know, because I just want to live life and you know, appreciate life and appreciate everybody that is around me, that motivates me and tell everybody that is close to me, tell them my love them before I, I'm not able to tell them my love them. I just want everybody around me that lives around me, that knows, you know, how much I love them, that share my life with everybody around me, and, you know, just be there for them. You know. I heard that you want to create more job opportunities, uh, and then I got lost. In your community, engage. Uh, was the motorboat uh, was back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I mean, the, what I wanna do right now, just like I wanna, I wanna create more job opportunities for the people around me, and then aside nice. from that, I also like, I also wanna share my love with the people around me. I want everybody around me to know how much I love them. You know, because in life we don't know, we just like live for a specific time, you know. For a yeah, time. yeah, yeah. So, if you know, anybody out there that you love and you haven't shared your love with them, just not tell them how much you love them. That's so beautiful. Sure. That's beautiful. Um, applause to this. Really. Yeah. Share the love with the people they, uh, that are close yes. to you and everyone. It's very inspiring, yeah. You. Yes. Yeah, every every single the time to do that because you never know about tomorrow. So. Let's I think we, we must do it every single day. Yeah. Every single Actually, day. I'm in London, so I know that tomorrow's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, bad joke, uh, bad joke. Uh, Mark, everyone Mark. can ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but spread the love. That's yeah, spread the love, yeah. Spread love, yeah. love. Spread love uh, give uh, equal opportunities. Give back to the community yes. and equal opportunities yeah. for everyone. It's amazing that you are yeah. engaging with uh, your uh, your community there, it, like with each and yeah. every single, uh, uh, I think, young friend and uh, like listening to their stories and encouraging them to uh, actually take them out to the world because we we need more of these stories like yours actually is is incredible is what you are doing Thank is you really so like uh, the world means the world is the universe if we Thank can spread so this to millions yes, uh, that's mm -hmm. that's true uh, uh, we can, thing, yeah. we're definitely uh, we are de yeah we're definitely on the right path today absolutely, as well yes, to spread yes, the message yes, absolutely yes absolutely yes and, uh, and uh, yeah yeah uh, I wanted to ask. Uh, it looks like a video. Do you, um, do you? Are you? You are exporting all around the world, correct? So it, yeah, people can I shop online. 
yeah, I all around the world, and then we have like a distribution office in Cologne, that is in Germany. Oh, in yeah. Germany, yeah. Oh, Cologne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cologne, yes, nice. Yes, yes, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you want anything from us, you can reach out. And also, I have like a certain lady that I was working with. She's in Gen Geneva. In Italy. Oh, Geneva, yeah, so yeah. Also, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Also, from her, you can't be able to get a couple of free stuff from us. Anything in Italy? Do you have a place in Italy as well? <laughs> in Geneva. Do, do you have an office in Italy as well? In a Italy. distribution no, office no, no, in Italy it, as well? It, it, no, 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 in, or in Italy Britain? it's just like in, no, 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 but I'm planning to have one in the UK, so let's hope very soon. Whereabouts? 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 In London, maybe? In London? UK. Oh, that would be yeah. great. But what about Italy? I mean, why, why not? What have you done? This, have we done anything wrong? <laughs> Talk to me nicely. Talk to me nicely, you know? You see, you <laughs> okay, see, you okay, see. okay, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can make an offer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> London, London, we will wait for you in London <laughs> with arms open. For sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I'm really looking for that, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, we, yeah. we will yeah. organize. We will organize this. Uh... <laughs> we will definitely be in touch with you again. <laughs> thank you so much. My dear. David, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. You have been fantastic. Uh... I appreciate you guys are the most fantastic people, you know. Leave alone me. Oh, thank you. You are. You, you are. are. <laughs> oh, you guys, I appreciate your time, by the way. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I mean, I'm super happy yeah. you know, to have a chat with you guys and in exchange work from you guys and also like knowing you guys and you guys knowing me because at the end of the day, you never know. Knowing people is like also good at the end of the day. And, you know, we share yes, our yeah, yeah, true, yeah. True. yeah, yeah. Not we, we, like what, what I normally like. Uh, what I normally like learn from my mom the most is like, never wait for love to come to you. Find love. Don't wait. You need to reach the love. Yeah. Know, yeah like, find love. Out and you know, maybe the other part is also like waiting for you to find, find the love in them. But when you reach out fast, you never know. Then that's how it goes. Then you just live life and appreciate each other more and more. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Reach out and share reach out. Uh, reach out uh, to David uh, and to yeah. us. Uh, yeah. Reach out to David. Yeah. Looks or like. Or just uh, reach out to us uh, and then buy from David. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a, yeah. 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 Send me the money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> David, really, again, uh, you, you are very inspiring, and very fantastic, such a great person, great uh, and uh, everything. Asante, that you... Massimiliano is right in Asante. Yeah, Asante, yeah. yeah thank you, Mr. Asante. Oh, wow. Wow. You what, said what, does what does it mean? Asante? What does it mean, Asante? Asante, Asante means thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, nice, Asante, Asante. Asante, Asante. 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 Yeah. That is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> grazie, grazie, grazie mille. Yeah. Grazie, <laughs> grazie, grazie. Our own video, people love your attitude and design. I see. Thank yes, so we love uh, we love yeah. Avido designs as well. It's beautiful. We are with you. Yeah. We are with you. Yes, we are we're in this you. together. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are now more, more than before. Yeah. Actually, you know, next time we can yeah. connect from your um, from your atelier where you have all your where you sue, where you do your work. So we can bother all the all your, all your employees. Team, yeah. All your team. Yeah. So we can plan maybe this weekend if we have some time, or maybe next weekend we can plan. Sure. Yeah. I'm down for it. Yeah. It would be great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> My dear, I love you. Love you so much. Much love Mwah. to you, David. Much love. Thank you guys too. I appreciate it. Yeah? <laughs> My dear, love you. Bye. 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 David, a video, a chien from Looks Like a Video. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's so. I mean, it's so great to, to help so much the community. Yes. We have some local projects here as well. Yes. There are these initiatives, but this is, uh, this is fantastic. More, yeah. More. 
yeah. and what he is doing in a community, yeah. uh, like a, I mean, a, this is a, Kibra is a huge community, it's 500,000 yeah. people, and what he is doing is just huge. Yeah. He's a hero, really, a hero. Yes, a right? hero, sure. and, uh, and plus he's doing a great job. It's not a just that job. he's helping, it's great quality, great, uh, great, great designs. Great designs, great qualities, Colorful, uh, low fashion, sustainable, is uh, working yeah. only with the local yeah. people, using only local textiles and also he gets inspiration from Kibra. Yeah. So he's very, very local. I love it. Very, that. very. <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, so much for watching. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, yeah. uh, write uh, uh, a direct message to us and uh, we will uh, reply to all your questions. Come back to you. And come, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye guys. Love <laughs> bye, you. Bye.